looking casitas here, we can see the result of a couple years of good rains. So this is January 15th, 2020, and we can see that the low water level that had persisted for many years has uh, more or less reversed itself. And we see very little denuded uh, uh, soils, uh, bare soils at the lakes, Lake Casitas' edge. Um, and uh, overall, the water has returned to um, not the highest level, but much, much higher than what we've been experiencing. And so in addition, you can see the burn scar area here. We've had, we've had a lot of good recovery. So while we're, we're still relatively sparse in terms of the large uh, woody vegetation, um, we're seeing the result of a couple years of good rains and we're seeing some pretty good recovery. And we're also seeing that these areas like in these draws here, such as this, these areas that weren't fully burned, um, have really acted as a nucleating center and so we're seeing um, uh, acorns and, and re-sprouting and growth coming out of there. So we have a lot of, um, a lot of eriogonum, a lot of uh, wild rye, a lot of um, uh, just, just the, the, the herbaceous cover has come back quite strong. So if we do have a couple more years of, of decent rains, um, we hope to see this woody vegetation recover even farther. So um, uh, two years post uh, Thomas fire around Lake Casitas here in Ventura County, we're seeing some um, relatively good recovery um, compared to what it could have been if we continued in the drought conditions uh, that were uh, manifest prior to the immediate onset of the Thomas fire. So good news here from uh, coastal Ventura County.